Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we're coming to you live from the Heart Valve Society Conference in Abu Dhabi. I am thrilled to be here with Dr. Hanukkah Takenberg, who is from Erasmus University, and we are asking, we're answering your questions that you submitted at HeartValveSurgery.com and Facebook. And Dr. Takenberg, here's a question for you that's very near and dear to my heart. It's all about the Ross procedure which as you may or may not know, I had done, let's see, 14 years ago by Dr. Von Starnes at USC Medical Center in Los Angeles. And the question comes in from Jason Shepard, and he emailed me, hey Adam, why isn't the Ross procedure advertised more widely for patients under the age of 55? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I am, well, I've done a lot of studies uh, on the Ross procedure and actually uh, it was Sir Magdi Yacoub, one of the pioneers in cardiac surgery and in the Ross procedure who stimulated me uh, to do this. Um, the Ross procedure uh, provides patients with the only living valve substitute in aortic position and um, I am con convinced that due to the superior hemodynamics of this valve, this living valve that adapts to the body, uh, life expectancy is as good as it is for people in the general population, especially young adults. Um, we do know that patients um, who in this age group receive a mechanical prosthesis or sometimes a bioprosthesis have a much worse life expectancy. So when I started studying this, I'm like, why aren't they actually advertising this operation uh, more, uh, more often. And then I guess I figured out when I got into the cardiac surgery community uh, that the Ross operation is actually uh, seen by some surgeon, uh, surgeons as a very high risk operation because you need to replace two valves in order to treat uh, one disease valve and thereby you create basically prosthetic valve disease in two positions in your heart. It's a technically demanding operation. Uh, it is not something that every surgeon can do. Also, another prerequisite of the Ross operation is that it's done in what we call a center of excellence that has a Ross program that has surgeons trained to do the Ross procedure in the way that's most effective and tailored to the individual patient. And that also takes into account that in the perioperative management, uh, certain things are taken care of. And I do believe that uh, if you look at cardiac surgery in the US and in Europe, the mainstream surgery uh, is simply implanting a very easily implantable mechanical valve which is good for the quality of life of the surgeon, but not necessarily for the quantity of life of the patient, and certainly not for the quality of life of the patient. Because we do know that mechanical valves, uh, if you compare them uh, to bioprosthesis, biological valve substitutes, but also to the Ross procedure, that they are associated with a decreased quality of life for patients doesn't mean that every patient has a decreased quality of life with a mechanical prosthesis, but many patients do. So for me, um, uh, it was the reason to really pursue more research and to create a network of surgeons worldwide that are actually studying outcomes uh, in patients with the Ross procedure in the age group that you're mentioning. Um, and we're about to publish a study that shows it has wonderful results. Mm. But mainstream cardiac surgery is not yet convinced, and that has to do with the fact that uh, it's difficult, it's technically demanding, it requires specific expertise, and therefore uh, I would say that once our study comes out, it should actually be put in the recommendations uh, for cardiac uh, heart valve surgery in this age group, that in dedicated centers with great results and a dedicated team, uh, not only in the operating room, but also in the care afterwards, this should be at least discussed with patients. Mm -hmm. And patients should learn about the option and should be able to make a, what we call a decision that best fits their needs. So. Well, I think a question that I'm wondering, 
and the folks out there are wondering is, when is the research coming out? Is, do you have an idea of when it might be ready for a review by a It's stations? on a review. Oh, wow. So I hope that it gets accepted pretty soon and that it's out there. Wow. And then the other question, which I get lots of times, is who are those Ross Procedure Specialists? And I know in the United States, I always, the go-to guys are Paul Stelzer uh, at Mount Sinai, Dr. Will Ryan at uh, Baylor Plano Heart Hospital, Dr. Von Starnes up front at Trento, I know there's a number of them. Where can we access this list that you refer to? Is there primarily in Europe that, that you've uh, developed that list for? Well, I think we should talk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I can also tell you that Paul Stelzer, uh, actually Ismael El Hamansi, is a, a well-known Ross surgeon from Mon Montreal, and he's joining Paul Stelzer oh, wow. as of April. Uh, wow, uh, talk about a dynamic duo. Yeah, wow. that's right. And then I hope they can also you know, like start, uh, start a program that also looks at patient outcomes in a systematic fashion, and that also broadcasts more clearly that this is definitely an option yeah. for, uh, and that not only gives you a great wealth, but also extends potentially your life. Well, Jason, I hope that helped you learn more about the Ross procedure. I know it helped me learn a ton about a procedure I had done. And Jason, if you ever have any questions, you want to talk about the Ross procedure, feel free to email me. I'm at adam at heartvalvesurgery.com. And with that, Dr. Hockenberg, thank you again for not only your dedication to this community that needs help from, from the clinicians, but your dedication to the society. I understand you're one of the past presidents That's and fine. you've really taken on just a, a Herculean task here of uniting cardiologists, surgeons, bringing together the heart team. And I just wanna thank you for all your work. Okay, and I hope you'll join us too. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as, the future. Yeah, as we always say here, keep on ticking.